welcome back to my channel hope you're well um just got a quick video today i've had a number of customers have contacted me about setting up the uh self-centering throttle stick on the dji fpv drone um i had this problem as well so out of the box dji supply the uh the controller with spring-loaded uh tension on the throttle uh, and they've done that so obviously when you're flying in normal mode and sport mode the stick self-centers but if you want to start doing fpv flying self-centering is not ideal because if it self-centers that basically is giving you 50 percent throttle and you don't want that because this drone is pretty quick um and if you forget that and you let go of the stick your drone will be off um so when you get the controller follow the instructions and it tells you to rotate um one of the screws on the back of the controller to release it so that it stops it from self-centering it still has an amount of spring loading on it and it's really 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 annoying but you can set it up so it feels more like an F, like a, a normal fpv controller which has no self-centering at all um, and I'm just going to quickly show you how to uh, do this. Uh, it's pretty simple, um, but it's not that clear. First thing I'm going to do, just show you how to get it into normal self-centering. So as it, it comes from the DJI. So I'm going to show you that first and show you how mine came once I uh, did the uh, the self-centering or the D self-centering, if that's a word, <laughs> to... Uh, show you what uh, what I got out of the box. So I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to take the controller. We're going to firstly you've got to uncover the screws. That in itself can be a little bit daunting. So we take that off. It doesn't come right off. Right. So we have screw F2. Uh, you just about see it, but it's got F2 written next to it. And what we do with that? So we use the uh, we use the um, use the supplied Allen key that came with uh, with the drone. Uh, if you've got another Allen key the similar size, you can you can use that. Uh, I've got a socket set that uh, that I can use, but I can't actually get them. the The recess isn't isn't wide enough. Um, so we'll pop that now, and then you tighten it down. Keep tightening it, screwing it, screwing it until it becomes tight. Oh, there we go. So, so now I want to turn it over. You can see the uh, this has gone loose now, but you will see it's still self-centering. And I've seen a few people talking about this uh, on on the groups and the forums and everything else. Um, but as I say, if you're if you're if you're flying FPV and sport or normal, then it can be quite nice because if you, if you do come out of FPV mode and then you're back into normal, then you can just let go of the stick and it will self center. It might give you a little bit of a, a very slight up and down, but it's a lot better than all the way down all the way up because then otherwise the uh, the drone is going to go straight up it's going to go straight up or straight down so um so but there's also a lot of people that don't want that and they want that so that when it's when it's all the way down so or zero throttle that um that it stays there so how do you do that right well there are two screws on the back wait so that was that one there, F2. And there's another one next to it, which is labelled F1. Now, if you also tighten F1 up, that is giving you more spring tension. And I found, if you tighten that one all the way up as well, then find that that is more natural to fpv so 
as you can see it stops now if you tighten it all the way up it goes quite tight so you can then slacken it off a little bit or, or turn it anti-clockwise just a little bit yep still too tight and just do that until you find a comfortable you, you find it how you like it yeah it's a bit looser let's do it a little bit more i'm just sort of doing sort of half a turn at a time anti-clockwise there we go now that's how i would have it set for flying me fpv so you've still got your normal normal spring tension for your but then your throttle obviously you tend to when you're flying fpv you tend to pinch the sticks as well so uh, maybe maybe a little bit more so perhaps another quarter of a turn but as you can see the self-centering is now uh the self-centering is completely gone Right, so nice and simple, so easy to do. Uh, I've had numerous customers ask me about setting the uh, setting it up for doing FPV. Um, that's how you do it. Not that clear. The instructions don't don't tell you about adjusting the uh, the second screw. Obviously, you adjust that for spring tension, um, but it doesn't tell you you need to do that for removing the self centering action on that stick. Um, then that's how you do it. So very simple. Uh, right. So uh, if you um, if you want to uh, undo that the self centering function back on, um, basically reverse the operation. Um, so uh, the best way to do it is to loosen F two. So we're going to loosen that. I loosen it until it starts to tighten up. You just feel a little bit of friction. Um, this is this kind of like a like a, a position when the screw's undone, it, it meets the uh, the plastic of the controller again, uh, and I find that that stops it from from wobbling when you uh, undo it to that position. You can just you can't really see it in here. I don't think I can't quite get the light in there, but. There's, there's like a, if you look down the hole, you'll see that the screw starts to uh, go into the piece of plastic that it, that it goes through rather than all the way into the controller. Uh, and now we'll find that we've done that, but you can still feel some friction. You can see it's not quite going back to center as quickly as it can. So then we use the F1 and then turn that. anti-clockwise to reduce the friction there we go and now that's back now the uh, now that's back into uh back into normal mode as it comes out of the box from dji so there you have it nice and simple hope you enjoyed these videos uh i've got plenty more coming um, if you have thumbs up and, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, smash the bell so that you'll get updates of when, when I bring out some new videos. Hope you enjoyed the video and, uh, see you again soon. Bye for now.